to download a book using OverDrive on a Chromebook. Once logged into OverDrive and selected on a book, you're going to look over on the right hand side for available formats. The format that you're looking for is called OverDrive Read. If the book has that listed OverDrive Read, you may download it onto your Chromebook for use with offline. To do so, click on the download or the borrow icon on the page. When it's taking you there, it will then allow you to check that book out. Now there's a button right above that says download. We are not looking for this. What you're actually wanting to click on is the blue button that says read in your browser. When you click on read in your browser, it is then going to load the book onto your page. Now, up in the top right hand corner, there's a little circle with an arrow pointing down, and when you click on that, it's going to take you to some options. The one that you're going to click on is the cloud button. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the very bottom that says download. When you click on that, you're going to be given the process of the app downloading and the pages downloading. Once it's downloaded, what you want to do is bookmark that page. To bookmark, up in the top right hand corner, next to your address bar, there is going to be a star. When you click on that star, it's going to allow you to bookmark. Now, one thing that you want to do quickly before you hit done is click on the word edit. When you do that, it's going to pull up the URL. This is kind of tricky. At the very end of the URL, you're going to end up with this question mark P equals and then a number. You actually want to delete the number, the equal sign, the P and the question mark, leaving the slash. Read.overdrive.com slash should be the last part of the URL. Once done, you're going to click Save, and it will add that bookmark. Now, when you are offline, on a bus, at home, or just reading anywhere that there is not internet access, you're going to go up into your address bar. Now my address bar is full, so I'm going to click on the double arrow at the end, and I'm going to select the option that says Invasion of the Voice Snatchers for the book that I've chosen. When I click on that, it's then going to pull up this book. Whether or not I have internet access, it will give me the ability to read this book online and offline when needed on my Chromebook.